Hi everyone, welcome to my first video for Crafty Maven Getaway channel. Today I have the In Your Pocket Tuesday, which is a Project Life process video, and here is the inspiration piece for this week. So I have selected a few colors that I could see in the inspiration piece, so that's some blues, bright pinks, um, there was a really nice picture with um, bow cut type pattern on it, um, which also, I guess, reminds a bit of a confetti. So what I decided to do is um, I decided to punch out a few hearts in the matching colors, um, like matching to the inspiration piece. So I've just gone through some leftovers of my 6x6 paper pad from an old Studio Calico kit and um, punched out a few large hearts with my EK Success uh, heart punch um, and I punched some from pattern paper as well as from vellum and I wanted to use vellum to um, firstly have some circles to uh, look sort of like the bokeh um, picture in the inspiration piece and also, also um, added some vellum hearts as well and I, what, what I want to do is create similar look to the crepe paper uh, layered fringed hearts that everyone seems to be having to go at um, and I've just uh, made a few to go on the page I've layered some of those pattern papers and vellum and I stapled it in the corner and then I'm just going to cut the layers down so that different patterns are peeking from underneath of the previous layer and then I'm going to cut little fringes on them so that um, it's multi-layered and ruffle up the fringe so that it looks a little bit more dimensional as well. So I'm going to make uh, three of those hearts to use on the first page and then I'm going to make another one later on to use on the second page as well. So I've punched out quite a few shapes as you can see and I'm going to use pretty much all of them on the double page layout. So you can uh, see the three, the first three that I have made just layering some patterns and vellum together. And I'm just going to um, put the cards back where I think they will go in which pockets and um, starting to glue the photos down as I've already pretty much decided on uh, the placement and where they're all gonna go. Just layering this uh, washi tape which is like the black outline of the flowers. Um, there wasn't really any black in the inspiration piece. There was grey but I didn't really have much grey in um, the things that I have pulled out for the page. Um, and I really needed something a bit darker than grey because there is quite a lot of dark and black in the photos. So to really balance it off I needed something darker. I was going to use um, the top pink card for journaling but then I thought the heart really looked nice in there in the middle so I'm just going to use it as a filler card and I will later on uh, put a label on the photo to use um, to do my journaling on the actual photo. There's not a lot of embellishment other than the shapes that I have punched out. Um, I did pull out this little uh, cactus to use on the page and then I completely forgot about it, but I will remember to use it on my second page. Now I'm looking through some letter stickers that I wanted to use for my weekly card and I didn't have a K left in this font, so what I typically like to do is cut out um, or cut in half an X and that way I can use both halves on it of it for um, a part of a K and I just need to add a straight piece and layer them both together and it will look like a K. Um, and for my numbers I have found these little paper clip numbers so to attach them to the page I have just uh, cut little slits in the paper 
and uh, then I'm going to put the actual paperclip bit through it and, um, and the letters will just hang off it. So I'm just going to do that for both of them. And that 6 was really weird. It had like two layers of the top part of the paper clip. So I was just trying to uh, fiddle with it to try and work out whether I need to tuck something on behind the paper or um, why it just looked so much thicker than the other, let uh, the other numbers. So I'm not going to do too much else to... Um, the cards this little corner I just found it was just laying around so I thought oh it's a nice little addition to the photo as a photo corner so I just glued that on there on the bottom left card now I'm just grabbing some black stays on ink and my usual uh, very basic date roller stamp and just stamping out the dates of the week which is the September that's um, I'm sort of catching up on my uh, project life 2015 and I'm just going really quickly through it and um, it won't really take long to finish it off and once I've done that I can start on this year and this year I'm gonna try and not take as many photos or maybe print them a little bit smaller and maybe do a bit more pre-planning so that I can uh, maybe in Photoshop have more photos on the page so that they don't take up as much room as so far I've already got three albums for 2015 and I will need another one so I will probably end up with four and I really don't want to do more than two albums per year anymore because it just takes up a lot of room so um, I'm going to try and be a little bit more particular with which photos I select for my album um, so here I'm just uh, doing a bit of journaling I am pulling out some labels and um, some more vellum circles in this one I didn't worry too much about um, using vellum glue because that part was going to be covered by a label so that it didn't matter whether you could see the the glue through the vellum circle but with all the other ones I have used vellum glue on them and the vellum glue that I prefer to use is this little one on the roll that you cut off because it's got a different texture to um, the other ones that I have tried. It's not like a solid continuous piece, it's more of a, it's not quite like a dot runner but it's closer to a dot runner than to a solid, um, like a continuous sort of um, tape and it's, um, it's, it's kind of porous so you gotta rub it in and then peel it off. And now I am going to move on to my second page and the second page came together a lot quicker um, because obviously I already had all the shapes punched out and I just uh, had the general idea of where I was going. I have pre-selected cards beforehand so that I wouldn't spend time uh, on the video doing that. And basically I've just gone through my core kit, um, one of the ones I've had in stash, in my stash from a while back um, and the colors matched so I have picked a few cards out of that and in the bottom left card that I'm working on that I've just moved um, I wanted to cover up the person that was sort of blocking the view in the photo and um, I couldn't really cut the person out because then I would have cut out um, a little bit of the the picture that I did want to see so I have pulled out the cactus that I've pulled out earlier and forgot to use and I'm just going to color it in with my watercolors just uh, coloring with a couple of shades of green and then um, just coloring the bottom as well with some blue which I thought originally was brown but um, sometimes it's hard to see with watercolors what color they are until you add water to them so um, I didn't worry too much about this one because I didn't mind I didn't mind the fact that the pot was blue but um, for some reason I couldn't find a brown in my um, watercolors so I'm just spraying a few uh, watercolors there to try and find out if any of them is brown um, and I couldn't find it so I just mixed orange with black and made my own mud out of it and uh, added it in the pot. I'm just going to uh, dab it off a bit to take the excess water out and quickly dry it 
it doesn't take long to dry when you use watercolors because um, they really absorb quickly into the paper especially if it's a good quality paper and um, I'm just sticking it onto the page so that covered up the part of the photo that I didn't want to see and um, add a little touch and then I have taken one of the hot punched shapes and put it in the bottom right corner adding a photo title I wanted to spell winning or winners but I didn't have enough letters so I've just put win and then also added some more letter stickers on the other photo as well now I'm just pulling out another um, label to write some journaling on the top right photo and I decided that I needed another one of those fringed layered hearts so I'm quickly making another one out of the leftover pattern papers and vellum, um, vellum hearts so out of all of those shapes that I had uh, punched out I've only got two of those uh, orange hearts left so that was pretty good I've used up pretty much everything that I have punched out and that was a lot of um, shapes. I really enjoy using vellum um, in my projects but I always forget about it so it's good to um, actually pull it out and use some of it so that you feel like you're actually using things that are in your stash. So now just gluing things down and quickly doing some journaling I know first I'm going to stamp a date out because all of these photos are from the same day that was um, when last year we won grand final in soccer so that's a photo of my soccer team at the presentation and then um, my boyfriend and I went out for lunch to celebrate so I've decided to put all of these photos onto the same page and um, keep them all together because it's from the same event pretty much so I've just uh, stamped the date up the top so that I would remember what that it was because I think that's the first grand final I have ever won so that was uh, rather exciting um, and I'm also doing some journaling on the vellum heart on the left middle photo and um, I like to use um, a sharpie just to make sure that it doesn't smudge and uh, here are some close-ups of my two pages and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video do give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to Crafty Maven channel and if you want to see more of my videos the links to my channel and social media will be below as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.